Hello everybody, welcome to the first quarter final of season 40 I believe and we've got Ducky versus Paul, Nurgle versus uh, Necromantic and in the booth with me is Fymir, hello! Hello, here we are watching again with looks very green for the Necro very very green but with any some luck and a few if the claw works for them and regen works they could have a chance yeah and it's interesting right he's got setek and cheney so like he's not really missing the strength of the flesh golems but yeah it's kind of wild that he doesn't have flesh golems um he's got a babe and he's got a wizard and he's got the fame, and he has got yeah Setek and Cheney, which are which are two great players to induce. To be fair, so yeah, they're good uh, star players, yes. Um, but of course, Ducky has loads of Claw Mighty and two Claw Pommers, um, so he might just delete the team. But then they've all got regen, and he's got the babe, and he's got fifteen players. So like, it's not realistic to. Outbash them in terms of you know completely outbash them, um, but obviously each drive you can outbash them um, enough to to win the drive. Paul needs to feed the zombies to the to Nargel and protect all his uh, players with any skill if he uh, wants to have any chance because as soon you know positionals start to go rough. Mm. This is horrible, right? He's not stand firm. He's given... Okay, Ducky hasn't taken it. Well, I hated that from both parties because I really liked um, putting in the strength five and blitzing him back into the other claw pom. I mean, protecting the ball, okay. There's a wizard. It makes sense. But... Uh, there you go. There's an instant KO. I really like the uh, blitzing back into the follow-up claw pom hit. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that was really that was a really nice move. And I'm, I mean, he did it instantly as well, didn't he, Ducky? There was no real thinking before he moved that that guy back. I don't know if he'll be regretting it now because it looks like he's going to do that blitz. Yeah, and he will have claw mighty follow up hits. Okay, one claw mighty follow up hit. <laughs> Which he were going to see. As I think, moving back, the Pomber is the one with armor six. So you want to at least protect him a little, make things a little, uh, you know, harder for Paul to get him. Yeah. But look, if he hadn't moved, he could have done that blitz. You know, this guy could have assisted from there. This guy could have been there, he could have come from there. But then I guess the push is worse, because he'd follow to here. I don't know, maybe maybe this was safer for his claw palm. And he did get a bit of protection for the ball. Like, you know, I'm not saying it was wrong, of course, to do that, but I would have wanted the follow up hit with the claw palm. Oh god. Oh god, what's this? A bit of panic here from the duckster. This, this could be a... Uh... Both of them have like a million players, this is absolutely stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the point of running behind there was. <laughs> what is that? Did Ducky see a did Ducky see a ghoul over here? <laughs> I don't know why this guy was there. That's fine. That was totally fine, wasn't it? Mm. I don't know why he felt to go there. I don't know why he felt the need to do that. Okay, now... What can Paul do? I mean, there is a lot of strength and war from the... Guard from the... Yeah, he's, 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 got, he's got plenty of guard, yeah. He can, he can 2D this guy. He can claw my either palm. And he can hit this guy as well. He can do some good hits. Back. Le Pommer. He's blocked his own path, though, really, because it would have been better to run. How many Dutch wolves I want to see? I see a minimum of three. That's yeah. my bet. Three. <laughs> Easily. I think you'll reach that in the first half. 
Okay, I think he's going here for the strength five. Oh, he's cloning the warrior. Oh god. That's offering a free mighty blow claw bomb hit. I ah, know, no, no, he can. I can use yeah, the one yeah, to get the assist for that. But only a push. Only a push. He wants to greed it so badly. Yep, he Ooh, does. Oh, greed! <laughs> now, does he try and foul it? I mean, like, he can't. He doesn't have a bribe, does he? It's really no. stupid now, isn't it? He looks, he looks pretty stupid now. I know he can hit with Setek. <laughs> then I did glow. Yep, but then he can try and dodge away from the beast and foul. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so he knocks those three down, which is kind of what you'd expect from the start. And I guess it makes sense to use the Claw Mighty on the Armour 9 of the Nurgle Warrior. But, I don't know, the fact that you could ugly him first, I would have tried to have hit him with the uh, with the White and then tried to get the Claw Mighty on the Killer, because he's the Killer is a better player to remove, isn't it? Yeah. Look, if he kept this guy here, he could have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, GFI'd and assisted the Blitz on the Wolf. <laughs> Just quietly. Making the ball safe. Sensible, uh, sensible ducky. I am mean, more or less the necro has given some opening in the left side of the beach. Yeah. Wow, really shit block dice. I guess he claw pumps this fella. Armor 7, so at least the claw doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Master play. Hey, I'm a brick though. Of course, he piles on. No danger of a foul. And he gets the cast. And there you go, out. It's not no region. Imagine if he had had a player to assist and could have hit the wolf. <laughs> but it's still good, it's still good getting rid of that guy, isn't it? It's one guard less. And the Necro only have two guards now? Yes, three. No, no, two, two. Oh, they've got, they've got, they've got a lot of guard, actually. They've got uh, two ghoul guards, haven't they? Oh no, that's him. Yeah, only two. Well, okay, I thought they had more. But it was this guy. I was looking at his guard. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's one of the uh, another players that is just in the middle. There are too many icons on the screen. Yeah, and he had he had a guard. Uh, he had a guard. He had a guard. Zombie, didn't he? Or did he die last game? Or maybe it was a, no. It was a guard rotter. I saw a guard rotter. <laughs> yeah, so ducky has got all the guard then, hasn't he? Holy shit. Yeah, this is looking horrific guard-wise. Yeah, this is real bad guard-wise. Probably should have dodged away Setek. Should have tried to dodge him. By just standing up and getting pounded. Yeah, it is really hard, Aurelian. I agree. It's it's my problem that I have with Necro. Like, yes, they're quite good at. Like they've got they've got fast players. They've got Claw Mighty of their own, and maybe Claw Palm of their own. But like, they're not very strong, and they haven't got a lot of guard. 
And like they just players aren't that good while they're on the field. Like, you know, even though they've got regen and stuff, like, I don't know. If things work well for them they're great, but then that's true of every race, isn't it? Yeah, they have, you know Except of the wolves, they don't have a player that can, you know, actually explode if he gets a lot of SPP. You know, whites are good, but they're bounded to get the guard. Here comes your first dodge away. Oh, it's hard for me. Guess he's not gonna. It should be a 4 3, wouldn't it? I think he should, but I just don't think he will. <laughs> Because he's going to get claw pumped. He has one dice with the uh, zombie on the Nargar Warrior. Yeah. Maybe but he's he, counting on that. But he's still going to get claw pumped though, isn't he? Oh, uh, 100%. <laughs> Panning on the difference. I don't even think it is. I just think it's... Uh, I just think they're a bit... Shit. Against, like, real bash teams. Even though I never really like playing against them with real bash teams. This is an easy switch to the side, isn't it? Claw on the air, uh, move the ball first. If you don't get yep. sidestepped on to. Claw the wolf, move over here. Oh. oh, he's not! Wow. Ducky very much prioritizing ball control. Wow. I guess we're seeing a hit on the game again. Surely. I guess that was a dangerous pile, right? If you if you pile on this guy, the he's got the uh, dirty player right there to foul you. Well, you could have a. Chain and tag the is the player. All right, or you just don't pile on. Just you know, it's not mandatory. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, chain hit in the club bomb treatment. <laughs> oh, that's ah, there you go, the greed, the greed. Cheeky greed. Love to see it. Quim dog. Hello, Papa Piquillo. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the wrestling. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah. There is a dirty player around. That's the knockdown there. No, it doesn't take it. Goes for the push. Oh, he's got block anyway. Goes for the push. That's a, that's a nice place to stand though. Yeah, I said that both of them have block anyway, so... Yeah, I didn't even see the block. I'm a bit stupid. I, 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 you know, it's early. It's It's... Yeah, for the people watching on YouTube, it's 6 a.m. in the morning here, so that's why I'm really... <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why I'm so tired and making all these mistakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 6 a.m. somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, all, it's always 6 a.m. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's not lies, dude. It's not lies if they never know the truth. <laughs> Wait, is that right? <laughs> this is a nice foul, isn't it? He's got the uh, dirty player in range here with a GFI. Yep. Oh, he's got to reroll this. He's he literally got to. He needs to. He needs to. He needs to power him for the assists. You gotta do it! Come on! Come on, press the button! Stand a three! Are you? Yes! Yes, the pow! No pile on, though, so. Agreed, looks a bit shit, but he does have a three assist foul now. Which is what he wants. I'll tell you what he wants, what he really, really wants. Oh, here we go, we're straight for the foul! He wants to really, really, really want it. Foul it. With the GFI and everything, and... There you go, Kaz. But regen. Oh, well. Out for the drive. Not out bad. Drive. Yep. 
Worth the reroll. I mean, maybe it's a little rowdy going to the fog so quick instead of, you know, saving the rest of your players. <laughs> if the foul was uh, a send off, that's a wolf and uh, one of your best ghouls uh, in complete danger. Yeah, or GFI fail as well. He had, he had to do the GFI, but um, I think the the earlier greed he did was was worse than this one. I think this was fine because it was you were greeting the hit and you were clearing the path to to get your uh, to get your foul in. Well, I think the first green was a bit too greedy. In my opinion, I think that was a bit of a, a bit more of a banger greed reroll. The, the first one, I thought this was. I mean, not that it's especially tactical fouling a claw pommer, but it's more tactical than I just want to hurt stuff. <laughs> it does seem like Ducky really, really is very cautious with a wizard, isn't he? Um, yeah, I noticed it in one of his previous games. He was very, very, uh, very cautious. No follow here to keep him on Setek? Probably. Um, he was very cautious playing around the wizard, and uh, I thought he shouldn't have been. I like the no follow there to keep him on Setek, because now Setek's got yeah. to break tackle away. Hello, Flicky Flack. Hello, uh, Flicky. Oh. Every hit of Nargara is clenching the bat of foul. <laughs> yeah. Every position a leader. <laughs> 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 that was a great impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <please>. no, no, <laughs> oh, I mean, absolutely kudos and respect from Paul for reaching this uh, stage of the cup with uh, this team without yep. fleshies or any that. He's fouling Setek. Yeah, he's very impressive run. He's fouling Setek. It's about time that he starts fouling. I mean, it's a tacky game. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Absolute disaster. Disgrace. Yeah, I, I and agree. Install, de delete and uninstall. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. That was a terrible foul. But at least he didn't get sent off. At least it wasn't a gym foul. All right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And the the players in a good position, you know, and he's there. And now Setek... Uh, Maybe you could, maybe you could use the the bolt here, right? Because he could uh, he could bolt this fella, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. These could come around the other side, and then this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He, he, the ball, like as much as he's thought about the wizard quite a lot here, it's still kind of on to bolt him and come in and hit the uh, hit the ball. Interesting, he might go for it, you know. He might he might even go for it. Yeah. You can do it with Cheney with Wrestle. You can do it with Cheney with Wrestle. The ghouls are free, the wolf on wolf is free. Cheney is free. Yeah, this this I, I think he's really thinking about it now. You could even fireball. Because you could hit you could hit either then, couldn't you? So you're seventy five percent to hit either of them. Um like to hit I know. The, at least one of them, aren't you? Which is like kind of worse, but you might hit both, and you might knock this guy over as well. Like I don't think it's a good idea to to fireball, but it's possible. If you ball, why won't you bolt the ball? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> because this yeah, would let you flood the position. Ball the ball, ball the ball, bleach the tackle, a mighty blow. Because I was thinking about crowding more players around, but then of course, if he, the fact that Cheney was free, bolting the ball and then blitzing this guy looked better anyway. So I, I was thinking bolt him, and then you get to put more players around the ball, right? If you, if you have a player assisting and then a player hitting him, then all of a sudden yeah. you've got two players here, um, and no players here. So then you're just not doing anything with the ball. Then you might as well not bolt at all, right? Oh, and now he has to watch. Here we go, the the the, the, the fabled Necro dodge blitz, blitz dodge. With a GFI. 
Or he's just gonna stay there. He's got blodge, he hasn't got tackle. Maybe he just stays there. Well, there is, you know, a uh, tackle bomber just two squares <laughs> yeah. away from the wall. It's like, I think we can see the blitz there. Yeah. Flip me, guys. I play Necro. Exactly, y'all chugs. <laughs> that was a proper. That was a proper Necro coach blitz, wasn't it? I think yeah, he'll just come back brilliant. over this side. Don't you? He's got a perfect blitz. On Setex still one two three four five six can get up and around the ball but yeah he's playing very conservatively here uh, Ducky and it was still maybe a little bit exposed maybe if Paul had two re rolls he might have gone for the the ball oh play. going for Setex yeah quite like the you know, on Setex. Now by not fouling the warrior, um, he has guaranteed his dirty player available to foul this fella if he gets the chance. Well, yeah, I think the white is getting fouled. Oh yeah, white getting fouled. Sorry, I mean, I mean by uh, Paul not fouling the warrior the last turn, he's got his dirty oh. player available to foul. The pesticle this turn, so we couldn't pile on. Like a pylon would have been suicide there, wouldn't it? Now you can protect him with the guard, so it's hard to get. Hard to. Hard to knock over the. Uh, little fella now. You take the hit on the wolf here, don't you? It's not too bad if you Yeah, it's too bad. You just fish for the bow. And if you follow, you are uh, tagging also the ghoul. I mean, it was a bit risky. It was it was pretty risky because if you don't power him, he goes there and it's a three plus away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, whereas this way it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI, just to stand there. <laughs> I'm sure he would have done yes, eh, Dev. Uh, uh, I'm sure calcium. Uh, what's he called? Uh, Fash binder would definitely have piled on. But then what would happen is, after, if he was commentating, after the claw pong was fouled and killed, he'd say, so that was a bad pile out, wasn't it? I don't think I would have gone for that. <laughs> yeah, that was a, arguably a very, very bad beast activation, wasn't it? Um, pretty greedy. Pretty greedy beast activation. Maybe that was a time for restraint. Things he showed restraint by not blocking the wolf. Maybe he shouldn't have blocked. I shouldn't have activated the beast. Yeah, no, the other side is there's no chance the armor shells is gonna get hit by anyone. It's too well protected by two warriors with guard. It's gonna have no fancy business that. Yeah. It looks that way. Um. I'm a little surprised he didn't foul the white with, you know, a uh, uh, guard mighty blow. That was a juicy target there. Yeah. He's good. And if you take him away, the only guard left is the ball carrier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, next time he's going to get hit by Clapom and by Crow. But if he didn't have something at the back here, then he's too open to the wizard, isn't he? That's the problem. Like he needed this guy, he needed this guy, he needed somebody back. And he needed somebody here as well, I think, otherwise you're too old. Like it is pretty scary, like to be fair, the thing the thing Necro have got going for them is they do have movement eight players, don't they? And move seven, so like he's got yeah. three move eight players and two move seven. So like even though this looks pretty safe, it wouldn't have taken no, no, the, much the, the carelessness. Ball, you can ball there and you have the wolf and the ghoul for a recovery. Yeah. You can even you get a, a lucky scatter and, and you have also wolves under the uh, ghoul at the other side. So, yeah. depending on the scatter, you could go one way or the other. Like, you could totally fireball here. It wouldn't even be terrible, right? You've got Cheney to blitz this guy. And these guys can come around the back and stuff. Like, it's. it's And that guy could have come in. Like, lots. It is pretty scary now, to be honest, for Ducky. It's. Uh, maybe by playing too safe against the Wiz earlier. He didn't commit to as many hits as he could have done. And 
He obviously he got unlucky with the hit. This is being very uh, oh, just frenzy trap blitz, no problem, no problem, yeah. Cheney. There you, are, there you, are. you know when I said that this guy was uh, safe because there were two guards next to him. <laughs> there you go. You know, it's like okay. <laughs> oh, I, oh, magic. Well, if this is the last action of the turn, it's alright. But then you have your wolf here. That okay. Yeah, you should have done this first. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Classic Necro Dodge. Oh, there's a cast though. Oh, there you go, eh? <laughs> Regen? Yeah. Yes. And of course, now you can hit Cheney with the. Uh, if he gets a push here, which he does. Or, in fact, if he gets anything except the double stop. So, yep, yeah, he, he gets the Warrior in. Blitz, Cheney, maybe it's foul, set up. This is Put the, the rotor, the rotor with guard in, and now Blitz. Cheney, easy peasy, you can pile on because the... Oh. You haven't knocked him over. <laughs> oh, why would you tend to do that? At turn six, two rerolls. No, no. Man, what he wants to do here is he's got to activate the. Uh, oh, I, I, I like going further forward. I like activating the beast here, and then, you know, if advance it, if at least works, one square. Yeah, if it works, you push him to there. You get the warrior in here. You get to go quite far forward. But this is conservative. Like it's you know it's you can't really harangue people for playing mega conservatively, can you? It's uh, it certainly makes sense to play conservatively but like you know some t and like you know usually when you don't play conservatively you kick yourself thinking I wish I'd played more yeah, conservatively yeah I should have done this I should have done that hmm. not fouling Setek wow oh the ball I mean, if he didn't put a guy there, Cheney has a... Yeah, he has a hit on the ball. Yep. Some rise. Yeah, not even... 3-5, but he has a hit on the ball, so yeah, he needed someone there. It is kind of crazy, isn't it? They've basically got three strength three gutter runners, almost. <laughs> it's like how you've got to play against them. Like, it's pretty scary how fast they are. And when you think they've got a wizard as well, like it, it is tricky. In fact, yeah, he could bolt now. And he has the ghoul and the Cheney there. If he can get rid of the ball carrier, uh, you know, like there he is no many him. useful players to uh, pick up the ball. You could fireball, right? Yeah. Because either of these I two, like obviously the ball would then be 50 instead of 83, but. The fact that you've got the other two to to destroy his position as well. Oh my god, they wanna see another tiny blitz. <laughs> oh this is nice though, isn't it? This is the chain to give the to give the uh the to give the wolf hit. No it's not. <laughs> no it's not. It is, it is. Oh, yeah, with the, if, this, if he gets two It pushes, is, it is, yeah, and now, yeah, push him. Well, oh, double scars with the loner, good. <laughs> you have to reroll. I only no. want to reroll. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, God, he Ooh. regened. Ooh! That armor says complete badass. Wow. What is this wolf doing here? <laughs> <laughs> wow, and now. Now he's got a, a fucking ghoul getting tonked off claw pom as well. The ball carrier, the ball carrier getting annihilated now. Yeah. And uh, Setek 2. Beast comes And you in. still can bleach one of the wolves. Oof. Yeah. Beast comes in on two nice players. Beautiful. Maybe three, right? Could blitz. Yeah. Could blitz. And then get in on all three, potentially. Ooh, 
there's the AV brake. We'll definitely see a pile here. Oh, oh guaranteed. Oh no, it's only it's a no. KO already. <laughs> no need to pile. That's a babe. If he hadn't used my T-Block for the armor, I would be very tempted to, you know, because you manage to injure the cast the ghoul is like oh, really, really good. And yeah. since has, he's going to come back for the next drive. Yeah. Because it's two two rolls. Yeah, it's a good okay, point. Okay, rolls with a babe. Yeah, good point. Eight times out of nine, he's back in the second half. But then you might not score, in which case... It's a hard one, isn't it? I would have thought about re I would have thought about piling on certain. If if uh, my tibolo wasn't used, I would have piled on. I would pile on every day of the week. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would have thought about piling that. I mean, it stun isn't stun is the same anyway right because you're yeah there is only two turns left so so yeah stun is just yeah, yeah, yeah. KO, basically so yeah probably probably should have piled but then you know he's uh, and so is, is the ball carrier is the ball carrier you know the necro team has guard is juicy target doesn't regain mm. ah but he's given the assist for this it will not that he needed it but ah uh, there was the reroll because it's the last thing of the turn and it's turn the seven. Yeah, and now he gets to follow and now he's the assist for this hit. So like it all worked out, didn't it? Not piling. But it would have been very tempting to have done it, for sure. <laughs> what a G. What a G, what a G. <laughs> Gangster. Uh, oh, uh, so, I mean, when I'm playing Blood Bowl, absolutely distraction. I mean, if you're playing a bash team, there's like, absolutely no remorse. <laughs> and especially that, you know, babes, something like that, you need to, you know, think about the getting someone rid of them on the drive is good on the first turns of the drive, but they're going to come back anyway, you know, like turn seven. Yeah. Yeah, but he, he, he has done things though, hasn't he, by staying there, he, uh, Yeah, yeah, no, no, he has uh, provided the support there, and he's there, and he's going to be used next time, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, so probably the Necro will use the reroll for the Wolf Dodge. <laughs> yeah. He makes this a 2 and or 1, doesn't he? So yeah, D Ducky's, so Ducky's managed to navigate the wizard on his offensive drive, which is always good, isn't it? To, uh, and, uh, he doesn't care about the two and the one. And <laughs> kills the fella. Now he's got the Setek Blitz. He's going to be the claw one yes. on the armor six. I don't know, the Setek. Yeah, on the six, yeah. Gonna dodge his ghoul away while he can, I guess. I don't know where to. But... Run away with a ghoulie. Dodge double GFI, fight, a foul with a. With a... <laughs> dodge, dodge, dodge double GFI, fight, a foul with a claw bomb would have been amazing. <laughs> I guess you've got a claw. And uh, Ducky haven't uh, done much damage to the Necros. Yeah, uh, doing work for the Necros, so happy days. And, and only lost a player, yeah. which being Armor 7 was like, man, not, many, not many hopes for this fella. Hmm. Like it, it's nice. It's obviously it's nice for Ducky that he scored, but it's nice for Paul that he still got his wizard. But, um. I think he maybe should have used the wizard. You know, at some point. To have done something. Not. Yeah, he's had some pretty bad dice, Ducky, and he still made three cars. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Lightning en Block Dice and Heavy Very Good for Ducky en Steel Strikas. One self inflicted, but. <laughs> oh, four counts then. Yeah, oh, yeah, self inflicted, yeah, the, uh, the, game, the game file. The Cheney, yes, <laughs> gasses himself. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, God, I'm really, I'm really bad today. Um, yeah, Cheney did kill himself. Unbelievable, but he came back. So regen so far is the like worked on one of the whites, was it? Yeah, and uh, Cheney. And Cheney. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah, Dev, that's why I think maybe you should have used it, you know, like, there, there obviously, there wasn't a, an amazing turn to use the wizard, but there was a few turns where you thought it could be pretty good, but I think the fact is down to one reroll, that was the problem, wasn't it? If he had two rerolls, the bolt or the fireball, use a reroll that turn that you go for the steal, and, or whatever, and then you, like, you want to use a reroll on the wizard turn. Be able to use a wizard on the reroll turn, and then still have a wizard, and still have a reroll later in the half. So I think it was, if he'd had two rerolls, he might have taken one of those um, kind of more borderline wizard shots that he had. But I mean, there was never a turn where this is you, 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 you know, there was never a turn where this is where you use the wizard, was there? Because obviously Ducky was was doing his best to prevent that. But um, yeah, maybe maybe he still could have done. Yeah, both, of, both of them played very conservative. Yeah. Except, well, the classic uh, only one, uh, only two uh, worth dodges, you know, in eight turns. That's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very conservative. Frenzy trap dodge blitz. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they have the book they like definitely he was very patient, wasn't he, Paul, with looking for a perfect whiz chance. And you know, maybe maybe too patient. Like he knows he's the, he's got to know he's the underdog in this match. Um So you know there's more onus on him to be ballsy, isn't there? Whereas Ducky can just play really, really safe and Yeah. I let the, 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 the weight of his skills and players just roll around the pitch. Yeah, maybe it, uh, maybe. But still, this is still pretty nice for Paul, isn't it? He's still got, um, he's still got all of his players, like most of his good players, it's only down one. Yeah, only lo only lost one positional and have more than enough uh, zombies just in case. Yeah, and then if he can score without using the wizard, he can get to overtime, and then he's got 50-50 winning the toss, and he might have a wizard for it as well. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> the herd. Uh... Wolf Blitz, classic. Oh, a blizzard. Well, that's, that's ended any hope of the one turn. Which there wasn't really much hope of, was there? It wasn't looking very good. He had to one day him and pow him. And then, like, I don't know, I think he was playing for a... Was he playing for a quick snap? I, I don't understand. It was, it was hard. Like, he could have... Uh, he could have blitzed this rotter, right, two, and then he could have hit with one wolf. <laughs> so, like, one wolf could have blitzed him, then the other wolf could have, uh... Oh, he could have filled in all the places, couldn't he? He could have filled in all the spaces. And then blitzed, and then pushed one, which would have then chained him into the sidestepper to have gone... One, maybe he could have done it. Maybe his PTK could have done that. Yeah, I think it's just a riot. So maybe, maybe, maybe K Frog could have could have done that by filling in the squares in front and using the Wolf Blitz. Mm. 
Yeah, so Unzi have next to no chance because of the DP, right? Because if you, if you can use a blitz, fill in all these squares, but then... I don't know how it would work, because I'm not as good as PTK, but you know. Fill in all the squares somehow. And then... You've got because you've got two wolves to hit, haven't you? And then you still got well, like you still got a sidestep wolf to get pushed around, and then you've got Cheney can can hit with frenzy to get things going, and you've got the other one. It's like maybe possible if you had ages to think about it. I don't think anyone would do it in four minutes, except except K Fog. Amanda leaves to plan uh, one turn touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he does like the one to I mean, definitely after, right? Because you could sidestep up to here, then sidestep to here, then sidestep to here, right? So you can get... Surely you could get, like, far away. With it all being central. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, you could have got right to the end there and then just done it. Yeah, I know there's a blizzard. I mean, crazy. the blizzard was making it harder anyway. There wasn't a blizzard until it happened. You can still do short passes, can't you? But you could go one, two, three, four and clear the stink, that's what I'm saying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you'd have a short pass, which you can do in a blizzard. Now he can blitz with the wolf, the, the warrior, and mm. foul the beast. Because he has a more uh, DT player, yeah. yes? Yeah, he has another player. He does have dirty players, but I hate farming the beast. Because the beast is not a claw pom <laughs> pestigore. <laughs> so, oi, the old 1D blitz. Love to what see the... it. <laughs> oh, God, he rerolled it. What the self? He rolls into a skull. Why don't go for the, you know, if you're going to re-roll a grid, you have to go for the, the warrior. I don't know why. I think he wanted to clear it for more assists on the, uh, on the beast. I think he was going to foul the beast, but I, I didn't like it because I would want to foul. Like, the beast doesn't matter that much, right? And if anything, it can give you, like, there were, there were turns there when Ducky, like, it didn't go stupid once. And there were turns there where a stupid beast could have, like, you know, combined with the wizard. Like, that was that was probably another thing that was in Paul's mind, like, you know, waiting to pull the trigger on the wizard. If that, if, you know, if Ducky piles on and then the beast goes stupid, then he's kind of down two players for that turn, isn't he? And, like, the, there was one critical turn, I think, where the beast gone stupid would have really hurt him. And, like, so if you wait for the beast to go stupid and then whiz on that turn, or, you know, so... But it's it's really rare that the beast is going to be that relevant, and it's more likely he's a weak link. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get out with that. It's more likely that there's a key turn where it's a weak link when it goes stupid. So I would definitely save the. Me personally would save the. D DP for uh, the past of goals. Paul is playing. Paul was never not playing kill. Um, well, I mean, apart from when he was banned. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ori Lensis and Binkit have rescheduled. It's fair enough, it was a joke that he got banned for three seasons. I mean, if anyone cared about Blood Bowl, it would be an absolute fucking disgrace. But, luckily, no one cares. Maybe he wants to reach the final again to concede again in the final, you know, to make a point. Oh god, that'd be epic, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, legend, you know. Like, all right, I have something to say here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking epic. I would love to see that, holy shit. That's a very close uh, setup in defense for uh, Raki. Mm. Like, 
really, really close. I mean, uh, it's giving a lot of uh, space to the Wolves and the Ghouls. He's doing the anti-frenzy, though, isn't he? That's the idea. It's the, uh, it's the idea being like with the guards and everything, and then the players like it's trying to. And he's got three wolves, hasn't he? So trying to limit them is good, especially as Paul's already shown you that he'll do frenzy trap into uphills. Yeah, but well, uh, I don't know. I could go. That's it. Could go horribly wrong, but he's he's got loads more guard and everything, hasn't he? So it's yes. No, I mean I, the the Lecro could go for a quick score here. They could, but then they probably just lose two one, don't they? No, because they have the wizard, so they, they just need you know a small chance. They they, they have the full team. Score quick. They still probably lose two one if they score quick, but yeah, they would have they could they could randomize the equity. <laughs> I do think they would still probably lose 2-1 if they scored early, but yeah, it's, it's an option. Like, it gives them the chance to win in, in normal time. Grab the ball with the ball carrier, give it to one of the wolves, you know, run away and uh, cover a little, a little the side and that's it. And then, okay, you have to stand another three hits on the LOS, but you have zombies. And the like, and you still have the wizard, so... I don't know. There's certainly an argument for for score for taking the quick easy score because then at least you score. Like there's a there's a decent chance of of Paul just not scoring and losing one nil if he tries to score, isn't it? So that's the main that's the main advantage about scoring early is that at least you've scored. <laughs> yeah, also, now you know if you don't score quick, it was your plan. Try to stall, making uh, making a cage versus this uh, another team, you know, so they can surround you. Yeah. Like, like genuinely, I think I think he's likely to lose one nil, as it stands. He's quite likely to just lose one nil. So so scoring quickly and likely losing two one is isn't much different to just likely losing one nil, is it? So yeah, well, at least you can see your score. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, that's what I mean. So it's like it's it's probably not as bad as you would think scoring early. Yeah, you can score now without using the wizard. Yeah. Interesting. It's very interesting. What? I mean, there's gonna be another trap here. Jesus, that, that this early. It's gonna hit the. Uh, it's gonna hit the dirty player probably because there's no reason to mark the guarder, is there? So he's probably marking the uh, ball carrier with him, and he's gonna blitz the. Uh, with the DP. OT, I mean, it's standard, but it's not standard scoring in eight turns against Ducky with this un Nurgle team, is it? That's the problem. That's the problem there, David. Like, it's really not going to be easy to stall out. So that's got to factor into your decision that it's like, you know, if you could just auto stall out and score on turn eight then I wouldn't think of scoring early. But there's a real fucking good chance that if you try to sc stall out, you just don't score at all, or you have to use the wizard. So, yeah, I like the I like the, uh, the two-turn a lot more than I normally would. Also, if the blitzer still continues, you know, for the uh, next uh, drive for Ducky's, not being able to GFI for Ducky versus a team so fast, yeah. It's problematic, you know, because you need to suddenly you you become a Kenbury thing. Yeah, it, it it is a bit, but on the other hand, like those GFIs add to the range that he's got to defend against the wizard, hasn't he? Which is quite quite good for the, uh, you know, like yeah. So, it, funnily enough, it does hurt you as the fast team sometimes. He's not even going to dodge away, is he? Oh, what a madman. What a madman. He's, he's getting Cheney here into claw palm. That's Easy. Quietly. That's mental, one isn't of the it? Wolves, one of the wolves is going to get the claw palm too, so... Yeah, this is horrific. Isn't this horrific? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You know, try to score as quick as possible, boy, because... <laughs> <laughs> all your players are frenzy, so... They're going to be next to someone. Especially when 
Joar versus an anti eh, frenzy eh, setup, like the one Ducky did, and then you go and get into the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bang it in when you can, I think, eh, Dev. Not when you have to, just, yeah, when you can. Like, it's, it's really hard. It's like, it's re this is a really hard half for, uh, for Paul. So based on that, I didn't mind just going for the quick score, seeing as he's given you it. And I am, I am a very, I am somebody who would all, has always said I'd start every game one nil down after two turns if I could. Oh, I don't like that from Ducky. Do I not like this from Ducky? Oh, he's getting in the way, I wouldn't have even cared. <laughs> even though I think it might be Paul's best chance, I think you've got to make that hit, make the Cheney hit, and then see if you get the follow-up claw on hit. See, so like, I would have done that hit first, and then, yeah. and then I then I would have moved that guy up there because now that's obviously perfectly, perfectly sensible. non volk absolutely no team wants to like. It's really hard to score against Ducky's team. Just full stop. Never mind in eight turns. Just full stop. It's hard to score against his team. Because your, your your team is getting punished, isn't it? You've got to protect all your players and everything, and you, you know it's just hard. I long guaranteed here. Oh, no need, no need. Oh yes, it was a niggle the wolf. Whoa. Yeah. Oof. But yeah, chaos brilliant there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you cast. He uh, has regen, so you cast him. You know, regen. It's yeah. like me. Oof, passive beast. What? What is the, the path going that way? I thought the, the beast would go the other way, you know, to just get the stacking set tech under the player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Team Antel, what they would have piled on if it was a stun. That's the thing, isn't it? He would have piled on it if it was a stun. Oh, a stun guaranteed. Yeah. That's there is no danger, no problem, no nothing. Big foul. Oh! Cheney doing the Lord's uh, work there. <laughs> it was all part of the trap. It was a freshy trap into a uh, multiplayer player <laughs> trap. Yeah. <laughs> For the uh, Blood Wall here from Paul. Yeah. And now Paul can blitz while the, the Armoray the Pestigo, the Club Bomber, yeah. with a wolf and without falling into a frenzy trap. <laughs> Outrageous. But then he can't get a lot of support for it, can he? See, I like putting the beast on the, in here. Because he's hard at hit and everything. Yeah. So he like, and he, he stops the break tackle away. So I really like putting the beast in there. But I guess at least this shuts. Like, if you do put the beast in there, then he has got the pass to the uh, ghoul player. So this completely shuts down the the ghoul player. But then he keeps the ghoul there, and now he's he's taking your beast out for the rest of the drive, hasn't he? Which is a bit shit. Of course, he uses stand firm. He knew he was going to get pushed. So brilliant, brilliant play from Ducky. <laughs> Offering two dice there, that's a little risky, but all right. Well, it's a take that doesn't have a mighty blow or anything. Yeah, but it, I, I think it was more. It was more risky than he could have dodged away. That was the. I think hitting him was probably bad there, because you have got a good chance of pushing. Him. Yeah, break tackle. Last, the last action of the turn. Mm. You know, like okay, I've done everything. The ball, blah, blah blah. Okay, maybe you know you should take to cover one spot or mark someone. I think he just comes back. Yeah, I, I think you don't hit. Yeah, you've got to come back and try and deal. You want to. You want Cheney on his feet. And you want this guy back in the play somehow. He does team Antelia, yeah, it's horrible. Um, obviously not Volk, because Chris is. <laughs> All in results, yeah, it's the 
Oh, I need the stacks there. Oh, huge for the drive. Yep, massive for the drive. Uh, Jugs, Jugs counts it on blitz, but not on blocks. Stand firm. <laughs> Needs to hide behind his flesh golems, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not having that. flesh golems for this game, I have given him a Setek and a Cheney, yeah, which yeah. are better than probably any flesh golem that is in a legend. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, now he's. Now, see, that's the thing, right? The tentacles doesn't always work, and now. It like, wasn't even that unlikely, was it, to get away? And now he's got to fucking move, some, move a dork over next to him to, to get him activated, which is a bit. Lame. Not terrible, but oh, this is a—it's a lovely move back, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's like oh, move. yeah, better run away. It's a lovely cheeky diagonal for the beast. I mean, Chain is getting—I uh, don't know he doesn't have any more dirty players. No, no. So right. Chain is safe. Yeah, he's the only player he can foul with is the guard, <laughs> the guard rotter. So yeah, this is. Uh... You know, down to ten players, the duckster. So the ten aside. No nine for Ducky, isn't it? Because he, he just got that. He just got that. Uh, he just got the, that. Yes, cast. enough. There's enough on the cast. Nine, nine players for Ducky. Nine for Ducky. He's actually getting out bashed. Alright, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you, Orensis, it's it's 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm so dedicated. I got up in the middle of the night. You know, I'm bleary-eyed. I've got no <laughs> got no idea what's happening here. You know the the movie Rocky when he's waking up for to train and puts the eggs <laughs> in the have the shake with the eggs and I start on it. That's that's Jimmy. You know, waking up to to cast blood ball. You know, some eggs, <laughs> some protein there to wake up. Yeah, exactly. I've had that. Then goes to beat his meat for a while, you know, to <laughs> get ready, and that's it. <laughs> just like Rocky, just like Rocky. <laughs> Darlington is the new Philadelphia. Yeah. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> Dave. It's not true. It's 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 three thirty-four a.m. Unbelievable, brutal. The absolute dedication here. <laughs> Shane Shield didn't die all the time. <laughs> oh god. Well, that's evened up the up numbers a bit and the strength and uh all of a sudden it's looking a bit crap for Paul again, wasn't it? He got a bit of an advantage, br a brief ad brief advantage. And that's been taken away from him. He's nine aside again. And he's only got, what, three, four, five, six standing at the start of the turn. So, tricky. Yeah. How are the ball, to... he can protect the ball, yes. But he's going, you know, back, a little further back every time. Yeah. Oh, fuck the clan, one Oriolensis. Rebel clan in it, just say, fuck you, fuck Rebel, don't give a fuck. Oh no, you've got to stick with that, because they'll, they'll give you 17 strikes and ban you forever if, you, if you've if you betrayed the holy cord of post on Views Reddit. Views expressed by, in this stream are not supported by the by Rebel 13 admin. hours from being <laughs> scheduled, and oh, he's got to, I was going to say he might have to greet this, right? Because if he, if he uglied that, it would be pretty rubbish. And even if he bought down it, it'd be bad. But uh, as it happened, he rolled the dub skull from him. He had to re-roll. Gets the re gets the removal, and now dub skulling that looks like a boon, doesn't it? Really? Yeah. I mean, he has four rerolls, so yeah. He's playing the dangerous game of uh, going for the blitz. Uh, you know, one <laughs> one cast per turn with the blitz. But <laughs> can go very well and but this could end any moment. Yeah. God, someone on Rebel got a loss, right? Because 
some that some guy said I can play, you know, at summertime, and then he said I can play all these times, right? And the other guy just didn't respond at all, right? But they make they make competitions to play the game, and you've got to accept your ticket to the competition. And be, because he had offered like you know mil, like millions of hours why he could play, and the other guy like offered no times at all and made, made no effort to schedule. But the other guy accepted the ticket, and he didn't accept his ticket, so he got the loss. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what a fucking joke. <laughs> oh, well. Mistakes were made. <laughs> can hit the ghoul, can't I? I mean, it's not like maybe. CCL is free of uh, sin. I remember one season where the cap didn't have any Cambry team. <laughs> yes, that would that would have been a, that would have been. A, uh, what is the camera dip? There is none. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a fucking disgrace had anyone given a shit. But luckily, <laughs> luckily nobody does. <laughs> Woo. And here is uh, Hancock, you know, getting ready to recover the honor of the Kenry, you know, as a proper uh, <laughs> challenge team. <laughs> Oh, it was bad from Rebel, yeah. Yeah, he was. I mean, makes complete sense. Yeah. I mean, that you can, you know, Rebel, you know what you're getting into. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this is the rule, this is the variation, something like that, and Rebel has done a lot of things. And for new players, Rebel, I think, is uh, great, you know, you have all these uh, competitions for newbies and all that, and there's always something going on. Went for the hit on the ball. Two GFIs in the snow to hit the ball. Fucking rowdy. Ducky, fuck. what is this? What is this, Ducky? What is this madness? Oh, he's whoa, double. Whoa. <laughs> he's double London Kion. That was rowdy as fuck. I like just hitting this guy in like. Put the you know, seatbelts, guys. Equity change coming here. Put the seatbelts. Wow, massive equity shift. <laughs> Because now he can uh, hit the other uh, club on very easy. Well, not that easy. <laughs> oh, yeah, not the beast is there. Easy. The beast is there. Yeah. The two stuns make this still pretty annoying. The beast is on two players. There's a guard there. You know, he's got frenzy with his good player. So it's, st it's still a pretty shit turn right now. But, um,. It's good, like, if you can survive another turn, I think you, you just run back here, probably run back seven. And uh, next turn you'll get your, your stuns back. Yeah, it, is, it looks bad, but it looks better than the last few turns. If uh, Ducky keeps losing uh, one player per turn, you know, he's a spot on, you know, four turns for a uh, cast. Yeah. Well, three cast and a... Uh, so, no, you know, uh, things are going to look very well for the <laughs> Necro <laughs> turn 15. Yeah. I think I think this turn still looks bad, but um, you know you can run back and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh fuck! He's just too far away, isn't he? Ugh! He, he could mm, he could dodge there, couldn't he? Seventy-five percent dodge, and then he could blitz him. I was thinking uh, going for the hit in the in the ball carrier in that ball carrier. Yeah, okay, moving laterally works. Then you He's probably just gonna stand him up though, and then Ducky's definitely gonna come for your ball this time. Nice but he's gonna have to wander, isn't he? Yep. Yup. Maybe is he not gonna come for your ball, he hasn't got time. So yeah, I preferred running away, but switching's basically the same anyway, isn't it? <laughs> Only by one day, so. Do you try for the dodge from the on the DP? Maybe not, because then you can free the beast and then put it in uh, on the ball. I, I like not even trying to dodge away. Sticking his beast in there would be disastrous. Wow, 
Ducky might have blown it with that with that hit, you know, that ball blitz. Two three pluses. It was a bit of a sp space cadet ball protection from Paul, wasn't it? And it, it kind of worked out for him massively. Yeah. And now, yeah, if he wants to hit the ball, no, the ball carries too many, too many rolls, and there's no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he took the bait. Are you gonna hit the ball? Might you blow tackle? Oh, is he gonna. Well, yeah, he didn't get the knockdown there, so I guess. Can't make this hit. It always did work. Walk. <laughs> Do you know what, J5? I read that, and I read it as Paul should just keep being ducky two oh, J5 baby. hits. On his ball carry, he'll suck out all of his rerolls and injure his penis. <laughs> I thought, why is he going to injure his penis? <laughs> it it only triggers Dimmy if Dimmy does it, Volk, yeah. That is that is the beauty of, of the command. Oh Oh the horrible 15 seconds to think and this is why a perfect example of why the 15 second chunks are terrible thinking and people say hey, you should think if you're going to reroll before you blitz and it's like oh, that was a very serious reroll to think there because you managed to take out that player is absolutely massive yeah and like then he... or even push him into the down and then you can keep moving up yeah like like making that blitz whatever happens you, you like you obviously, this is the obvious blitz to make. So you're making that blitz whether you have to re-roll it or not. If you roll double skulls, obviously you re-roll. But then when you get the board down, you've, that only happens, not even one in nine times, does it? It happens... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> How many times does it happen? One, Three, in, one in 12. The... One in 12. One in 12 times, you roll the both down. Um, so, so you're telling me he's got to think for a minute... 12 times, so he's got to think for 12 minutes. <laughs> no, in, <laughs> fact, it's, in fact, it's, uh, no, it's one in 12, it's one in nine because oh. the schools uh, both down are so count, you know, for uh, what I'm going to do. No, no, because the double schools you definitely re roll, right? No, I mean, uh, yeah, 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 okay, okay. okay That's yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's only the other three left. That you, um, so, so yeah, so, so, so you're, you know, this is the 15th, this is, someone should clip this and send it to Cyanide as to where, <laughs> I should have done, because I guess they're changing it to the ball three anyway, it's, but this is why the 15 second chunk was terrible, because it's just stupid, because like, you know, that's 12 games you think for a minute each time, or you just do it once, but you've, like, because of the 15 second chunk, you have to think of it for a minute before you make the blitz, and it's just fucking stupid. It's fucking, I hate it, I hate that. But, it will be fixed in Blood Bowl 3. Shame nothing else is. <laughs> Does he have a hit on the ball here with the club boomer? One, two, three, four. No. Nah, no, nah, nah, to elaborate it. But he can base the ball, he can hit the... The 15 second chunk you have to decide whether to use a reroll or not, rather than it eating out of your turn timer, right? After he made that blitz, he should have had 2 minutes 40 to decide whether to re-roll it or not. But instead he had a 15 second chunk of, of time to decide the re-roll and it's so fucking stupid and I hate it. It's the worst thing ever. You could base the ball from the back, you could blitz with a tackle mighty and base the ball from the back. Or he could blitz and then he still does something in front. That's probably the safer thing to do, isn't it? Because, you know, if he, blitzed, if he blitzed the ghoul and then stood next to the yeah, ball, then I he's, think he's gonna... Blitz the ghoul. He might blitz, blitz the this. Ghoul. He might blitz this zombie. No. Oh, that's a big removal. I like. I Ooh. kind of like blitzing this zombie, honestly, because then you know, then he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, right, and then got in front of the ball. But then you've got the breakaway to Cheney a bit. 
No, no, he can more or less. Uh, yeah, I like that. He's getting tackled on the ball. Last guard of the well, other guard gone. It's dangerous, though, isn't it? Do you do you one D here? Because Paul, you could one D see what happens. No, I think you blitz with a wolf the tackle piece. That's the obvious play, but if you one D, you can surf him. Which is pretty nice, isn't it? That's true. Oh, please, don't, don't use uh, with him team first thing in the turn. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's gonna be the, the easy. The... He makes the safe play. Which maybe wasn't the best. Like, it maybe wasn't because now he's still a threat, isn't he? Yeah. And so you want to assist to hit him, but then this guy's a massive threat. You've got you're really running out of players. So I think the Paul wasn't expecting the wolf not to break armor and make a gas. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, I, is, I, I, what, what is the result? <laughs> what are the pieces still on the, the book of the game here? <laughs> what do you mean double ones on the armor? Do I even have to roll armor? I think it was instant gas. <laughs> He can make a sideline cage. God, yeah, you've got to dodge first, though, because if you if you fail the dodge and you stood on the sideline, you're fucked. Ah, uh, it's a brave man. I mean, what? I mean, I guess you're fucked anyway if you fail that. Yeah, it was. I mean, well, this is okay. Man. Where do you want to? Oh, oh! No, I didn't, there you I didn't. I didn't like this. I preferred the, the one day, and then and then okay. the blitz with him. I think there is a chance of uh, shuffling the ball here. Yep, that could be. Could be, you know. It's going to require a lot of uh, tactics and effort, but yeah. Um, how much do you think he, he uh, is regretting kickoff return over sidestep right now? <laughs> Not that much, he got powered. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, what a punishment. Let that hey, be a lesson. Coming. Hey, good thing you see him coming. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to non sidestep takers. <laughs> I, in fact, yeah, I think the sidestep is much better. I mean, kickoff return is for orcs, Camry, dwarves that run out of skills. Yeah. But the ghouls have uh, all their options. Yeah. Yeah, brutal dice, he would have been dead anyway, that's a good point. <laughs> Just all six Jesus five, six, Christ, six, six five, Yeah, okay, six. okay, okay, that's the, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing will have survived that. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Cheney is, you've, you've got to come up with your uh, claw palmer here just to tag him, haven't you? I would have tried, you know, to make the blitz with the... And the ball, the ball next to the beast. That's like brutal. The blitz with the bomber. And yeah, I thought keep, so as keep well. The, keep the ball carrier free, you know, just to go and grab the ball. Well, I guess the because, the, the thinking is if he like both downs it or whatever, or like dub skulls it, then at least he's got him still back. If the ball gets was, in that way, that way, he's still got it. Oh, this going is for the pickup there. I just put the player there just to be annoying. Maybe leave another tackle on. I mean, the ball next to the beast is really good. Because now Cheney can go grab the ball, run away, the other wolf tag the sacrifices himself, tagging the <laughs> armor says Pestigor in the middle, mm -hmm. and who the hell are gonna, you know, the Edaki stop that happening? Oh, God, One fails! I don't like that at all. No, that's not really doing anything. I guess it, by bolting it, it frees these two to pre the balls, make it a three plus, so it stops a four plus. Nah, I guess. Lightning ball to change a four plus into a three plus. Uh... Like it, it removes the four plus. That's the thing, isn't it? Because then you can blitz him and put him away, so then it's just a three plus to pick up, uh, uh, rather than a four plus yeah. three plus. So it r removes a, a lone a four plus. So it's it's pretty good. Would have moved him later in GFM, to be honest. But then, ball the, the rotor, 
Yeah, just straight up bought the rotter, yeah. yeah. Straight up the rotter and boom, 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 there you go, run away. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, Volk, at this stage you're absolutely fucking desperate and you're trying to score any which way you can. Yeah. There's no point in having, it's I mean, like Kekuri in it, there's no point in having the wizard for overtime if you don't get to overtime. There is, you know, it's not looking for overtime that bad for Necro anyway without the wizard because they have a lot of players. They have a lot of chances of their players coming back from the chaos more than the Nargel. Mm. So, yeah. And see, in the end, he ended doing the. He didn't tag, he didn't tag this guy. He, he didn't tag him. Wait, Why didn't he, he tag roll... him? Why didn't he, he tag him, find me? Why didn't he tag him? I don't know. You told him to tag him and he didn't do it. Why didn't he do it? That was, the, you know, that was the, the obvious play. Tag that guy and you're happy, you know. Now you're like, one, two, three, four, five. Jesus, it's not even a GFI to, to hit Cheney mm. with one dice. Wait, but, two yeah, dice. Could have one if he a GFI of the rotter. Yeah. Yeah, you could have one D blitzed him, but then you've got to do it before you do the pickup. So it's. The problem is, what, what do you do before the pickup, isn't it? Wow, that was a GFI. There you go, he's going Tomatoes for the two die. This is it, this is the game winning play. Wrestle. Wrestle isn't bad. Wrestle. Wrestle. Like isn't bad for it isn't bad for Paul the wrestle. Do you re-roll it? He does. He gets wrestled anyway. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Reroll, same result. Three three. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. I I I wouldn't I don't think you should have whiz I think the bolt was terrible, Paul. But um like, I would have used it in a better way if I had to. I think it was a terrible... I hated the wizard. But, um... I think, you, you know... The the idea of using it now for a big effect would have been fine. I just didn't like the execution. <laughs> okay, turn 16. There you go. Everything on uh, Cheney here. You could... 1 in 9 with him. And then three plus with him because he's got uh, he's got a team reroll for that, and then yeah. so you're adding a one in nine to give yourself a team reroll and the three plus that you need. Um, but then you've got a loner anyway on this. So yeah, I, I mean the other option is it. dodging with a ghoul, and then dodge with a wolf for a two day bridge. Nah, what is this? What is happening? Come no, on, he's Cheney. Just, he's just going with, through with Cheney. Yeah. Two, three well, 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 Cheney. Cheney. Click, click ball, click, click and so on. Yeah. Oh, the regular wolf can do it with two GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true, yes, yes, that's true. Is that GFIs better? With the, it's three GFIs, three, three is, rolls. Is that but with better? a reroll, I think it's better. I think. Three, three plus with a reroll is better than uh, two, three plus without the reroll. I don't know. Let's Someone use the Samba thing. Loner. The loner is 59.2. And the other way is 59.2. It's exactly the same. Okay. Um, so without, without free roll, it's 29.63. And the loner is 44 without reroll, so the, it was better to do with chain. Wait. Oh, more, okay. You're more likely to do it without a reroll using chain. Um, and it was identical. Identical odds for scoring. But if you do it with chain, you're more likely to keep your, your team reroll. So it was better to do it with, with Cheney. However, scoring with, the, with your wolf gives him SPP, which could be relative. Oh, chaos, not good for the Necro. You can, yeah, well, if, you, if you go there, uh, I rabble, yeah. I don't know how the bot works. But, um... Yeah, and the one of the extra blitz as well, yeah, Flicky, yeah. Uh, uh, he won in nine with the with the ghoul, so it was, it was way better. It was way better just doing it with Chaney. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Click ball, click end zone. Always a good solution. Yep. <laughs> I didn't, to be fair, I didn't think of the wolf one. 
I didn't think of the wolf one, so it was a good spot. I saw it, but I thought, oh, there's a lot of rolls involved, and there's still a player there. Mm. Well, that, that was a good spot, if there's no blizzard, for sure. Like, it's, yeah. it was a good spot to see that it was possible, but um, as it turned out, the blizzard made made the chaining one definitely better. Right, so here we go. He gets another chance at his three pluses, which are both massive players to come back. Um, three, six, nine. He's still got 11 for now. Ducky still has 11 as well. It's nearly impossible for them running out of players. Yep, Ducky has a massive four plus to make. It's very exciting. Yeah, that's, uh, that's more than uh, we were expecting when this thing began. Yeah, yeah Paul have uh, put a hell on a fight here. In fact, he could win. Yeah. If the, the wolf games back, it's another uh, move and aid uh, player. Yeah, if both of these come back and Ducky stays out, <laughs> um, and and Paul wins the toss. I mean, there's a lot of things to happen, but there's a there's a lot. You know, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of chances. Just a shame for him that he completely wasted his wizard. <laughs> he hasn't murdered much in all go. He's, uh, he's he's made he's made two cars that have stuck, and there's been three successful regens. I think, yeah, three successful yeah. regens. I wouldn't go that far, Flicky, because Hancock will be losing his next match probably. <laughs> no offense to Hancock. <laughs> but he's against Cruz. Like, Kemri are a good matchup. Racial matchup at low TV, not so much at high TV. He's got to, he's got to get good dice to uh, become a good matchup versus Cruz, basically. But Cruz is probably going to destroy his players. An irrelevant region there, but still a region. Yeah, uh, yeah still a region. I was thinking that. That's absolutely relevant. Nobody cares. <laughs> He's going for the foul. I don't know uh, what he has in our Yeah, so I like that. He goes for the rookie foul. Because it's very unlikely to have any effect um, in terms of match equity, right? You'd need both guys to not come back um, for it to have made any difference. But then also, you know, it's not gonna, he's not losing anything by doing it. He's not risking the dirty player. Okay, I'm going to grab another can. He stays out. They both come back, so that is the exact swing that Paul was banking on. Boy, howdy, this is interesting. And Paul has won the toss. <sighs> Scary times for Ducky, only one reroll. Boy, howdy. Oh man, I don't believe it. Oh! Don't believe it! Paul doing the impossible, maybe. The dream! The dream is still there! <laughs> the good news for Ducky is <laughs> Paul wasted for his life. For in the for that starting to look like a nightmare. Yeah, it is. Because now it's the very fast tight. score... He's very tight. He's uh, still bums. <laughs> yeah. Now the, now he's really worried about the fast score, right? Because now with, with fucking Cheney, two Wolves, and to be fair, he has... This Kaz looks more more better now, doesn't it? Because he's lost yeah. his ball. And carry. also, he has the white too, so there's a lot of movement, six players. Yeah, Cheney dodged to serve. Yeah, fuck it. Five plus dodge, Cheney. Let's go. Let's go, champ. <laughs> That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Yes, go. Yeah, the uh, the rerolls do not refresh for the third half. No. And they will count for the kicks if they with this go for two kicks. Yes. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant comment from Ada over there, genius. Yes, yes, I mean, what's my weak point? The, the flesh golems, take them out, I'll get two starts. 
<laughs> the Wiz kind of was crucial, though, right? It, 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 it protected him in the first half. It stopped Ducky teeing off on him in the first half. No, this is a, I can see Necro coaches taking notes here, you know, the meta changing as we speak. <laughs> yeah. Userio <laughs> is a D6 roll, and you add the you re rolls, and whoever rolls higher wins. There is yeah. some animations to make it look like they are kicking and all that, but this last for sure. If you want to see the animations, um, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> Sorry. Um, here's that. Here is the link. I've got a link for you. If you go to watch oh, this video, uh, Arrested Development, breaking the dreams of Paul. You know, uh, getting something named after him. If you watch that video there, that's my Champions Cup final versus Villa Hoppier. And the, if you skip to the end. Um, you can see the animations. About two and a two and a quarter hours in. And the despair in the voice of Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I did a dev. Yeah, that's how I. That's how I got top ranked necro coach on fumble. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a regular say. competition, but for uh, the chal a challenge format. You know, going with how the flesh golem is a thing, everybody has said as madness. Yes, I, th well, I maintain it's go. madness. <laughs> I maintain it's madness, but it's working for I, you, For me, I have the same opinion. Unless they are dead, you know, before the chalice uh, starts and then you just don't buy new ones because they're full with yeah. skills. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot different min-maxing for win rate than to try to compete in chalice. Uh, so yeah, this is Blood Bowl 2, so now we can say that Paul invented the... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Paul invented the challenge without the flesh golems, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, not, not having the golems, I'll give him a Cheney and a Setek. But the Gorons are very important positionals for a Necro team anyway. I mean, they are very bad when they start, but once they get blocked and guard, yeah. they're really, really good. Yeah. And using them to stop your idiotic uh, frenzy traps. One turns, frenzy Helps. traps, uh, everything is, is, is one of the bases of the, of the Necro team. Yeah. You know, like I said, I wanted to play elves without bleachers because, you know, any lineman can get blocked and will be the same as a bleacher. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm missing something there. You do you tag the beast? Don't you just tag the beast here with a rookie zombie? I think you've got to, right? You've only got one zombie, one rookie zombie. Just tag him. Move the dirty player around. No sure game. hands to pick up the ball. Now every time anyone came close to the ball, has clinched it for the Negro. <laughs> yep. Is he going to serve the rotor? Nah, no he's chance. Gonna, he's going to go right, right blitz, surely. I'd hate this because it could have been the rookie. Unless, unless this, unless this dude goes four squares in one direction, <laughs> that should have definitely been the rookie tagging him. Just pick it up, hand it off to Cheney. No, I think that's a terrible idea. I was only joking. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It runs back to about here or something. I truly hope, Borcayo, if any time you are in a channel and Jack is there talking, you call him five minutes. <laughs> I don't like this, I prefer one back. Because now you've got to go one forward, which is a bit scary. Okay, so he does move him three squares across, which makes means the other guy couldn't have got there, which makes his tagging of the... Uh, 
beast with his dirty player completely acceptable. But look, he hasn't got the extra line. Yeah, he's got to put someone here. Yeah, this is the problem, right? He's he had to he's had to put these players forward in harm's way a bit too much. <laughs> a very you know clear opening into the cage. Strength five takes down the zombie. Then you can bleach the the ghoul. Mark everybody, have a party. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. There's no ways to bail him out now as well. Like it, 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 that was such a wasted ways. Like it, it wasn't leading directly to anything, was it? It was, it was leading to a two D, to 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 save your four plus loan, which is fair. But I think it was too little impact. Um, I had no qualms with using the wizard in the second half to get you a score, but it, that isn't what it was doing. You know. Hello, Cocky. Good day. Um, whereas now, obviously, if you still had the wizard, this night this defense would be an absolute nightmare for Paul. <laughs> yes, yes, Volk. I mean that that was kind of the uh, that was kind of the point. No, I God, I still said shit and wrong. I didn't even because I was shit and wrong. It was a shit and wrong wizard. The wizard was shit. The, the, the wizard, the wizard was not the best option available, and I put them in one of the worst ones. I didn't mind and using the wizard in that to beast your score. Didn't change much. You get two zombies. Yeah. You bolt the rotter. You grab the ball and run away. No problem. I've got don't, no... don't need to even bleach. Yeah, I've got no problem using the wizard, the good wizard, to guarantee the score. You know, like you've got. The beast facing the ball, and you bolt the beast, and then you run away and you scream like that's an amazing wizard. And I use that whiz all the time then, and I don't care about not getting there. The whiz that he used, I think, was terrible, and I always said that that was just a terrible decision to use the whiz then. But I don't, I don't, uh, I don't object to the principle of a wizard use in the second half if it led to something you know if it was massive game changing wizard that was the that was the point i was trying to make Volk. but that particular one that particular wizard was shit <laughs> he's got to cover this hasn't he or at the moment he's got a he's got a he's got a set of blitz and run or something maybe not really Got two players free. Just fucks off, doesn't it? Fuck off down this side. Frenzy trap. Knock yourself out with a frenzy trap. That's what I think the play is. One D blitz, ain't it one uphill? How him. Then he blocks him. Zombie gets in front. Ball goes to the sideline. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Or even ball goes here. Blitz him. I was thinking. That the rotter there uh, can be the weak uh, point. Yeah, then he blocks, and then you can hit him as well. Oh, then you've got to put someone behind. Um... I think you definitely just move this guy up. Like you've got you've got to move forward this turn, preferably in scoring range. The bad thing about moving him to assist the block is he's not in scoring range, is he? So ideally, you would want. I think I think hit the defenseless guy. I think I think. One D blitz with this with this one D frenzy trap blitz to open the turn. Let's go. Let's go, champ. Yep. Yep. Gets the knockdown. Oh, I'm, cl I'm clenching the ass. Any result <laughs> that wasn't a. 
<laughs> knockdown <laughs> was like very very bad news. <laughs> now he gets to uh, now he gets in scoring range, which is crucial. I still has movement. No, so yeah, yeah let, let him there. Yeah, that was, that was really key. He had to do it first because he had to get this guy there so that he can double GFI. Not that he's going to, but he has to have the, the chance to. Wow, he Ooh, gets the dodge off. Good. Incredible. At last, I started trying like all the game. <laughs> that, is, that is also huge. It's the knockdown there. Oh my god. Full, full appearance hasn't, I think, hasn't worked at all, all game. Wow. So now you you almost wanted to just block with him in case you got the power so that he could have gone to attack him. But the zombie can GFI tag for the tackle. I'm just going to punch him. Like, that's okay. The assist just to punch. But the problem is now, if you follow, she doesn't. Free the beast. He's in the Obviously, the tackle bomber is still coming in hot. I think you try to dodge. I think maybe one of the zombies, him. maybe? Yeah. yeah, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't reach. Uphill, look for the double pals on him. Nags, nah, then that frees him up. He's freed up anyway. Up hill into the double tower. Oh my god. When this working. That was very rowdy. Up hill yes. into the double powers. Yes, I was maybe, you know, thinking maybe you could, you know, dodge the last thing on the door, the block zombie. Because there is doing absolutely nothing and there are the chaos warriors out of the running away though. No, you, ha you have to, you have to uh, double uphill him looking for the double. You have to uphill him looking for the double pals, because if you skull, well, he's you've already he's already got a two D anyway, right? So this guy, you know, he's, unless he double skulls, this guy's free anyway. So yeah, that's why I say that's why I say yeah, the dodge with the block uh, zombie. Well, he can't get anywhere though if he dodges. So I would have gone for the I would have gone for the uphill looking for the double pals, and if you pow him, then you can just walk through and tag that guy. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Who did he blitz? Oh, he blitzed the zombie. No, 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 he blitzed the... Oh, the wolf. I was looking at oh, the, the wall. the side the step. Yeah, he blitzed the side step and got a push. You know, no, yeah, right. So that push was against the side step and then the power was against the zombie. I was like, did he choose push instead of push power? He needs to tag the ball and he can't. And now the ball is two GFIs from uh, winning. Yeah, he's, he's with the rerolls. No, he had a double GFI him. You had a. Ducky, you had a double GFI him. You had a double GFI him. I think you had a double GFI, right? Just so yeah. if there's something in the way. Yeah, now he's. He's a three plus three plus to win. This is this is it. This is it. He's going for it. What, what do you think? Do it, boy. Three <laughs> plus. Come on. I guess you could just screen, right? This guy's free. This guy's free. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's he can uh, he can screen. Then if he dodges, you just screen it off. So yeah, okay. And Cheney can blitz. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty good, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cheney can come up to there. He can get there for sure, and he just dodges. That's much better. So no, I don't think he should have double GFI'd. My instinct was no, to just no, double no. GFI yeah. and score. Yeah, no, no, I see now. I see the ghoul here. I can just put it there. Yeah, the ghoul is free. Ghoul is free. You can free Cheney. So he goes there, and now you dodge. You like dodging. You're making one three plus to make it totally safe. Which is better than two three pluses to score, isn't it? If he was movement ten, I would have just scored. <laughs> but he isn't movement ten. If he was moving nine, I also would have gone for the score. Like yes. It's only one year fire I have a reroll. Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. But no, this is really nice actually, isn't it? Just standing there. 
dodge, put the reroll in, and then you've got the screen. And then chain your blitzers to, uh, you know, come up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, chain you there as well. Oh, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. This is not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? Well done, now you don't have a go there. That was terrible. That's genuinely terrible, if you ask me. That's not the play I was thinking, but it's a play. I think this was terrible from Paul. I think he might. He's going to try to dodge with a wolf. Nah, no chance. He's got to try and dodge with both wolves now. No, but he has. He has. He has, because if not, it's just a 3 plus with a roll for a ducky to hit the ball with two I mean, dice. He's, he's got to dodge with the white. He's got to dodge away from tentacles to hit the pestigo. He's got to, like, 1D the pestigo now. But he's got, to, he's got to dodge. And if he makes it 2D the pest, and if he doesn't, if he, like, if he fails tentacles, he's just got to 1D the pestigo, hasn't he? He can't reach. Yep. Yeah, he's just going to punch him. Gets it. Lucky bastard. <laughs> the kingdom of one dice. Wow. 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 Well, I think now he's... Uh... With dirty players in range. Oh, yeah. Oof. Rotter dodge into double G of I. <laughs> So he can, um... Oh, full appearance at last! You know, for the last thing of the. <laughs> I think that's the first the one game. in the entire game, isn't it? I think it's the first one that the yeah, he fails. Yeah, you try and dodge with a white here. No, nope, just dodge with Cheney. Easier to dodge uh, with Cheney. I mean, you're not gonna uh, use the roll anyway, so. Oh, no, you have to use the roll. What the hell? Screen, screen with Cheney. And now you try to dodge with the uh, white. Yeah. Wow. And um, this is it. Yeah. Time to ride the GG, you know. So it's a four three. And nine people in the Earth's channel humbled. And to the power of Paul and his uh, master mm. TV management. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? I don't think anybody expected this. This is the <laughs> no, thing. This is no. the thing about Necro. Like, I never like facing them as like Nurgle and stuff. They seem so crap as well, don't they? Like, they've done all this. They made all these removals, and they've just somehow done it despite themselves. Like, I fucking hate Necro, honestly. But yeah, it's been a bit of a dicing, I guess. Showing respect from Ducky there. Instead of hitting the wolf, hitting the second. <laughs> okay, so now he needs to go f 3 plus, 4 plus, 3 plus. 3 plus, 3 plus to hit the ball. Oh wow, he's nearly there. Nearly there, come on, boy! Hero play! Come on! Of the tournament! Oh, so close! So close, so close! <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chugs. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, right, now, move Cheney. Move Cheney. Blitz with the wolf. A score. Yep. Get a cheeky surfing. Nah, obviously you'd rather not surfing. Might level you. I know you should have gone to surfing, because what if it's pushes into pushes? So that was the wrong square for Cheney, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, yes. You know, it wasn't a hundred percent. And now, score. And there you go. Paul reached the semi-finals. What a game. Unbelievable. What Unbelievable. a game. Unbelievable. Been all down here for Ducky since he lost the title in the GFW. It's a broken man. <laughs> maybe, maybe that Wem Dope Championship was a <laughs> loss has just ruined him. Um, but yeah, maybe Caprion, maybe, maybe. Um, unbelievable that one. He's still got 28 arm breaks. Like, 
It's funny because Ducky's dice were crap, right? They definitely seem crap. He, he made five cars and five KOs. Um, he did get all blocked again. Their frenzy hits as well, right? So they're not as. It's all appearance, 14 looks. successes, one failure. 93% <laughs> of there. What's this? That's 43, 44, 47. So actually, block dice were fine. They, they just seemed bad, didn't they? But yeah. Yeah, yeah the uh, really stupid 14 out of 14. And foul wow. appearance. Wow, yeah, they're going to be. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 26, 26, 22. Un just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, unbelievable Ten result. Tentacles for the first person. <laughs> yeah, the tentacles weren't great. It didn't help having a having having rubbish tent. That made up for his lack of ever boneheading was the fact that his tentacles yeah. were like... They were a shite. <laughs> yeah, they were about as good as... Ducky. It wasn't both heading because it was using the tentacles to read a book, you know, like. Oh, right. <laughs> he switched his tentacles with Chunter's gutter runners. <laughs> um, yeah, the regen rolls were really good, yeah, obviously. But, um, well, there you go. Yes, commiserations. Commiserations, yes, commiserations Ducky. Ducky. And uh, congratulations. Congratulations, Paul. Paul, that goes to the semi-finals. Yeah. And it's going to be versus uh, Crucifer or Hancock. Yeah, yeah. Is that is that is that? No, I don't think it is. I think that is incorrect. Um, I think it's versus Ori Lensis or um, or or Binkit. Is that right? I want to find everyone who plays in is. real life and just beat them. I'm to not 100 percent. Fucking life. Thanks for that, Commander. I think it. I think it's. Yeah, I think that's right. I think it's. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think he's playing Donor of Orioles versus Binkit in the semi. So there you go. Um, thank you very much, Faimir, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious thanks. as always. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>